To determine what size of digital readout package you will need, you must measure the axes on your machine. Starting with the y-axis, traverse the saddle to its most negative position, or toward the column, and mark on the knee where the edge of the saddle is. Next, traverse the saddle to its most positive position, then measure the distance from the same edge on the saddle as before to the previously marked spot. That is your maximum amount of travel. For the x-axis, traverse the table to its most positive or left position, then mark where the tool is centered on the table. Traverse the table to its most negative right position and measure the distance from the previous mark to where the tool is centered now. That is your machine x-axis travel. On this mill, those measurements are 16 inches for the y-axis and 32 inches for the x-axis. Since this machine also has a quill with a travel of 5 inches, we are going to go with the 16 by 36 by 6 inch mill digital readout kit. Make sure that your machine has enough room for the overall length of the scales and not just the length of travel. On Spherison scales, this length is travel plus 10.2 inches. Using the knee bracket kit provided, I was able to drill, tap, and mount the reader head on the saddle as shown. Before moving on, indicate the reader head in both parallel planes so that it follows the machine's travel. Position the saddle to its most positive position. Next, assemble the support pin to the support link. Slide the scale through the reader head into the support pin, aligning the support link square to the knee and then transfer punch into the machine surface. Once the hole for the pillar is drilled and tapped, insert the pillar and assemble the mounting brackets, making sure the scale slides through smoothly. Tighten all screws but the one on the support link that holds the scale. Again, repeat the steps as before, only this time in the saddle's most negative position, making sure that the scale slides back and forth through the reader head with little effort. To finish mounting the scale, slide the scale through the front support pin to the rear support pin and simply tighten the screws on the two support pins. For the x-axis, I mounted the reader head again on the saddle using the bracket kit provided. Don't forget to indicate the reader head in both parallel planes so that it follows the machine's travel. Traverse the table to its most negative position and repeat the same process as before on the y-axis to attach this side support assembly. Position the table to its most positive position and again run through the same process as before, making sure that the scale is able to slide through each support link with ease. Next, we will mount the quill, or our z-axis scale. There are three sizes of wedge bodies included in this kit to suit various machines. Take the cap head screw, fixing clamp, and wedge, and install them on your mill. As per the drawings with the mounting kit, the mounting plate will attach the fixing clamp, then the reader head, to the mounting plate with included hardware. The last thing to do is put the scale through the reader head and support assembly so that you can transfer punch to drill and tap for the pillar. As you can see, I flipped the quill kit 180 degrees from what is shown in the drawings. I did this because it enables the cable to go directly upward and the reader head to be out of the way of the user. For the digital readout, you will want to mount your display somewhere on the machine that is comfortable to access. On this machine, I attached the included mounting arm to the arm that is already on the machine. Lastly, route all of the encoder cable through the machine, being sure that they will not snag or be crushed by the moving parts on the mill. Go to machinetoolproducts.com where you can use our filtering system to choose options such as access type or access travel to quickly and easily find the digital readout system for you.